Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. I want to talk about storms this morning. In Luke chapter 8, verse 22 through 25, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. Then they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. But he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, Who can this be? For he commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. America is in the middle of a storm, and many of us are going through our own personal storms. And maybe you're wondering why all this is happening. It may be that we are on our way to something that God has promised and the adversary is trying to stop us from getting there. I have learned that often the greater the storm, the greater the miracle, the greater the event that God is bringing. Of course, if we're going to survive the storm, we need to be in the boat with Jesus. Our nation needs Jesus. Isaiah 60, verse 2 For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Let's pray. Father God, our nation, and so many people in our nation are going through storms. There is chaos and noise and so much confusion on every side. We need you, Jesus. Lord, I know that you are beginning to do something. You are up to something. There is a new wind of the Spirit moving across the land. You have been calling people to prayer. We are looking for a new move of God that will break the hold of darkness over our nation. A new move of God that will bring a new harvest of salvation into your church, your ecclesia. A new move of God in our communities that will break the curse of darkness in our cities that will set people free. And bring the glory of God once again to America. Let your light shine brightly in this present darkness, Jesus. Through us, through your ecclesia, heal our land. In the name of the one who is the captain of the host of heaven, Jesus Christ. Amen.